record, how does it feel to be the mother of a thousand dead by the group Crass, is already reputed to have sold 20,000 copies since its release six days ago. It attacks Mrs. Thatcher's decision to send the task force to the Falklands, accusing her of lusting after war. Well, Conservative MP for Enfield North, Tim Egger, says obscene lyrics towards the end of the disc make it the most vicious, scurrilous and obscene record ever produced. With me in the studio now are two members of Crass. Gentlemen, your decision and your response to the accusation. Let's turn to Andy first. Well, the accusations that have been made against us are that the record is obscene. Uh, I consider that uh, Margaret Thatcher, her government, Mr Egger, and all who support her are responsible for sending young men to be slaughtered, which in my view amounts to uh, premeditated and calculated murder. The mentality that creates and promotes war, I believe, is more obscene than we could ever be. Admittedly, there are what you last night referred to as being naughty words at the end of the song. I consider that committing people to go and be killed and to kill is the most gross obscenity that there could ever be. Well, this is what we're trying to say. Well, you have said naughty words. We're attacking words. that mentality. OK, Pete Wright, did you feel there was any danger of prosecution when you wrote the song, that you might be liable for prosecution? Well, people speaking the truth are always liable to prosecution. Well, is it necessary to use the sort of language to, to make a political point? Because no-one's denying your right to make a statement Apparently, in a Mr way. Agar has complained is about the words in the third track on the song. Yeah, and but for an MP in England to complain about the language on a record which deals with the slaughter of, on, on our estimate, a thousand people, and the Argentinians' estimate, 1,500 people, they're lying dead. There's as many crippled, and everyone who was involved in that has been brutalised and exploited. One and a half million pounds has been spent of our money. Three million people in this country are unemployed. OK, you're making... Not OK. And against you know, that, made, the, against, that, point. against that, the complaints from Mr Egar are pompous, petty and pathetic. All right, you've made your point. Let's hear from Mr Egar. Why do you feel it's necessary to prosecute? Because swearing is widespread in other areas. I have nothing against this group or any other group putting their views across uh, in music and on a record. I feel that the group went over the top uh, in the force of their uh, argument in the first track. But that is their decision, it's up to them uh, to make. What I do object to extremely strongly is the actual language used in the last song. It starts off, the last song starts off with the words, you shithead, slimy, got it all. And then it gets worse from there. Yes, but the thing is, and, in, in uh, your no, press release... No, 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 no wait, wait, wait a moment. You've had your say. Let Mr. Ego finish. Wait, wait a moment. The reason why the papers have written it up in a slightly different way and have commented that my criticism of it re is re in relation to the political message it carries is simply because they cannot print the language that is contained in that last song. Yes, but your press release also refers uh, most strongly to the families of those who died and were wounded in the Falklands campaign, to quote, well, the record, how does it feel? The, one of the lines from it is, you accuse us of disrespect for the dead, but it was you who slaughtered out of national pride. I think this deals with your accusation that we insult the families of the victims of war. Well, and, if Mrs. and if you're insulted well, by it... Let me read from your own song. It says, uh, you wicked matron stabbing hard, grabbing while the going's good, administrator's vicious smile, dancing on the body pile, slipping your sly fingernails, impaling flesh on battlefields. Yeah, but now, tell me, what, now, what do the families of the people who were wounded and killed feel about language of that kind? Mr. Edgar, are you, are you taking this up? Because rock bands have recorded other music using swearing, and are you picking this one up because you basically disagree with the politics implied no, by the song? absolutely not. I will defend to my last breath everybody's right to have their say and the right of freedom of speech in this country. <laughs> what I am saying is that there is a limit and that this limit is defined by the law, the Obscene Publications Act, and that I believe there is a prima facie case for prosecution. Yes, but and would, now, you agree? That, would you agree? It's up to the Attorney General 
If the Attorney General says that there is not, not that case, then I rest content. The group have not uh, got to contravene the law, and as far as I'm concerned, the matter is ended with. But okay, it has we to use, be discussed. We use some language which you find offensive, but would you not agree that, uh, for instance, tailor-made panties with invincible embro embroidered over the woman's sexual parts and nuke the RG Bastards t-shirts and banners as we saw on the Victory Parade are a lot more obscene than the words that we use in the song. Do you feel that it is absolutely necessary to use words like uh, the, those that are being well, quoted? Wait a minute, let me finish. Yeah, that words that have been used by, by Tim Egger yeah. to, to make your point. I mean, surely there are other ways. Can I mean, I, you don't I, have to uh, necessarily one. use, as we've said, naughty or obscene words. So but Mr Agar says there's limits. Well, the limits have been yesterday's someone committed suicide, a sailor from the Falklands. He committed suicide because he was unable to tolerate living with what he'd seen at the Falklands. He was unable to sort of face that for the rest of his life. Yeah, and we can live with the government's, yeah. we can live with the government's comfy um, version of what happened with the BBC's official history. The people who went there have to live with the reality of that. They swear and they cursed as they sort of suffered as they, their limbs were torn out. I, you can see them on the television, those poor little people that had carted off with, with one leg missing. And you have the sort of, we're, complaint, we're talking about sort it of is, swearing. It, yeah, is quite, uh, um, it is quite incredible. We've here got a group that's been sitting in England deciding what words and what judgment to make about people who've been fighting in the Falklands. And they're saying what the words they should use. Well, that's what you they're saying, saying that they have the right. They are saying that they have the right to contravene the law. I just don't think that's acceptable. I don't all believe I that you have the right am, to send people am, to war to get killed. Uh, and you no, are responsible I mean, for that, whether you like it or not. I don't want to get into a discussion We're about the into rights and the wrongs of the Falklands campaign. Yeah. You and I differ about that. Yeah. That is not what the, I, argu the argument is. The tone of the language. Uh, it's not. It's not the 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 overall tone of the record or what it implies. You are concerned with the language that and is the used. The language on it. and the language alone. We use strong wording because because we believe strongly that that what we have to say is worthwhile in a word by using strong wording do you feel that is the only way you can get a message across no but it is one way and it's an effective way as it's been proved by today's interview and you're going to prosecute i'm not going to prosecute i said to the attorney general will he look into it and see if we've got a lot of publicity from it okay gentlemen thanks very much for coming in uh, you pays your money and you takes your pick whether you want it or not